Hey everyone, Nick White, owner of Off Leash Canine Training. Just doing a quick video for our Thanksgiving Day reminders for things that your dog should not be eating. Keep in mind there's obviously a lot more things. These are just some of the main things I'm going to cover. Um, it's things that you may think is okay but maybe isn't so good for your pet. So just a quick reminder, so if you guys would, please like it, share it comment it below so that way we keep all of our pets safe over this Thanksgiving. I hope everyone has an amazing Thanksgiving holiday with their family and a special shout out to our U.S. military. Um, you guys are awesome. I know I was a U.S. Marine myself, spent time in Iraq during Thanksgiving, so I know there was holidays I wasn't able to be home and I know some of you aren't able to be home, so we truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome and we couldn't do what we do without you. So thanks guys and I hope you enjoy the video. The reason turkey skin is bad is a lot of the times it is rubbed and basted in things like onion, sage, and garlic, and it's soaking up all of these things which are actually toxic to dogs. So try to stay away from turkey skin or undercooked meat. Next you want to avoid stuffing and gravy. The reason that stuffing and gravy is bad for dogs is oftentimes it contains things like mushrooms, onions, sage, chives, garlic, scallions, and pepper. Also things that can be toxic for your animal. Now, cranberries is actually fine for dogs, however you want to stay away from cranberry sauce because generally it contains a large amount of sugar or high fructose corn syrup. One of the big ones, turkey bones, to give or not to give. Do not give your dog turkey bones. This seems like it's a topic that comes up every year around this time. Cooked bones is not good for your dog. They can cause vomiting or they can splinter very easily and injure or puncture your dog's stomach and intestines. Now potatoes by themselves are fine in moderation. However, when you make mashed potatoes, what you need to look out for is maybe your pet's lactose intolerant and the milk and butter that you're adding could give them diarrhea or an upset stomach. Watch out for any additional flavoring such as garlic or onion which is toxic for animals. Let's be honest, our dogs are kind of like me. They're meat eaters, but they're not so big into salads. However, you just need to ensure that your dog stays away from things that can be commonly found in fruit salads, like grapes, raisins, onions, things of that nature. Now the first thing I'm going to point out is that pumpkin can actually be good for dogs. Maybe your veterinarian has even recommended it in order to help with your dog's digestive system. However, a lot of pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie recipes actually call for nutmeg and cinnamon, which is not good for your dog. Things such as bread dough and cake batter. What happens when it gets warm? That is right, if you took science in school, you know that it rises. You do not want that happening in your dog's stomach, which can cause abdominal bloating and pain. Oftentimes, they also contain raw eggs, which can carry salmonella. So you should try to keep these things away from your dog if at all possible. I feel like about every owner in the world knows that chocolate is not good for dogs. So try to keep the chocolate to yourselves and away from your pups. I hope everyone enjoyed this quick reminder of things to do to try to keep your dogs as safe as possible during this Thanksgiving. If so, please give us a share so you can spread the word with other dog owners throughout the country. Thanks everyone.